is Sari Akalanis, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a paper rose. Um, the actual rose that I'm going to teach you today um, comes in a kit with like all of this paper, uh, wire, and floral tape, and it's a kit that I um, make myself, but you don't actually have to have the kit in order to make a beautiful rose like this. Um, really all the instructions that I show you, you can pretty much, you know, figure out how to make one out of just about any piece of, um, any paper that is out there. Um, it really is universal, like the folds and all that kind of stuff. It's totally universal. So um, in this video, I'm gonna sh show you how to make the roses that come in my kit. But like I said, you really don't need the kit to make it. Um, I really just want people to make beautiful things because I think it really is just a wonderful feeling that I wanna share with everyone how to make something beautiful. Um, and these roses are for sure beautiful. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is, I've got some floral tape, which comes in the kit, but you can get it at the craft store. Um, it's called floral tape. It comes in a couple of shades of green, usually brown and white. Um, and right now I'm going to use a dark green because I think that's really close to the um, color of a rose. And, um, so to do this, um, floral tape is super duper weird. It has absolutely no stick at all. And the very mild stick that it does achieve is achieved by uh, stretching it. So uh, to cover a piece of wire and floral tape, it's an act of stretching it and rolling it. Just like that. Stretch and roll. And we're just gonna give this two coats of um, tape just to kind of bulk out the stem a little bit. There's nothing, um, I think, there's something worse than seeing a really beautifully crafted uh, flower. And then it's just like this thin little scrawny stem. Like you can tell that that's a fake flower. And I like, I mean, not that mine is like the most convincing in the universe, but I try really hard to m maybe make it more of the top 10. <laughs> and the key to that is making a nice thick stem. So I actually put three on there, which is a little bit you can do two or three, depending on what you want. And I'm just gonna set that stem aside for now. And in the kit, you're gonna get a piece of paper. Um, in the kit, it's actually gonna be folded in the middle, but um, I don't didn't fold this one because um, it actually was never in the kit. I just printed it out. And one sheet equals one flower. So that's pretty easy. Uh, to, and I'm just gonna set this. Actually, I'm gonna set this over here. And now what we're gonna do is you can see on the, temp, on the strip, there's a little template right there. And the template, you just want to accordion fold this strip of paper really flush to that template. Try to get it as close as possible because as, the closer you get to that actual template, the more petals you'll get. And so you don't have to watch me accordion fold that whole thing. I have one already done. So that's all. Um, and as you can see, you don't have to be like totally perfect with it. This one totally isn't, I mean, it seems to get wider as you go. Um, you don't have to do that. I'm. Basically what I'm trying to say is like, you don't have to make it perfect. The little imperfections that your hands actually creates is, um, it'll produce a flower that's much more lifelike because um, mother nature really doesn't have any um, set template either. Um, so each little variation that you create will be better than if you really stress super hard about cutting it out exactly on the line or anything like that. So for this one, I just cut the top of this. Um, and you can see there on this way. Um, yeah, so I just cut the top of that. Um, and we're leaving the rest intact so you can open it up like that. And now I'm just gonna cut some slits right in between each of these petals. Just like that. 
And I always like to leave a little bit of white on the bottom of the petals. Um, there's definitely plenty of white in between the, color, the strips of color, um, which are gonna make up the body of the petal. But these, I like to leave a little bit of white. It makes it a little bit easier to deal with, um, not deal with, but a little bit easier to handle. And then you make sure that all that color gets showcased. And then not very much of it will be hidden in the glued on parts. So now I'm just gonna roll this up. And what I actually like to do is start my roll a little bit loose. So I want it to be really tight at the end, but the first time I go about it, it's not going to um, be very, like that's way too loose and gross. And I mean, not gross, but like a little bit. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go back in the opposite direction and look at how much more nicely and tightly you can get it the second time. So I like to do that actually two or three times and so you don't have to watch me do all that. I have one already done. So I'm gonna unroll this and I'm actually gonna section it out in um, little sections of three or four. So you've got three there. I'm gonna do another one, four. and four, and then three. So this is the tightest one, and it comes from the center of our little, um, our little coil there. So I'm going to start out by loading up my, loading up my brush with some glue. And I really like these foam brushes, but you can use any kind of brush. And the brush and the glue and this little metal cup don't come in the kit, but um, just about everything else does. And you can use any white glue. I am partial to a uh, pH balanced white glue, but you can use Elmer's or whatever brand you want. Um, it doesn't matter at all just as long as it's white. So I put some white glue down at the bottom and then for this very first one, I'm really gonna just cover this first petal with a bunch of glue. And that's so it stays a nice strong bond. And I'm gonna talk about this a lot in this video, but you really want that glue bond to be super strong and we're gonna reinforce it with tape every so often because um, believe it or not, these, this bloom that you see can actually get really loose and you don't even realize it. And then that flower will just pop right off. It's the most annoying thing. Okay, so that's the first one. And you want that first one to be nice and tight, just like that. And now I'm gonna take a next one and that is a group of four. And I'm just applying glue to the bottom. Just like that. And now on this one, we want this to be a little bit, we want this to be just a little bit looser than the next one, because we want it to feel like it's um, blooming. And the way you get that is just kind of scrunch them up a little bit. Don't be too dear with it. Be like a little bit loose and, and just like that. And then just give it a couple of pinches and hold it at the bottom, just like that. Really squish it at the bottom. Cause it's not gonna matter. It's gonna get so covered up with other petals that we really just want this, this center part to look really nice. But we don't necessarily need like the bottom part to look nice on the center. Um, the center of the rose. So you just keep on doing that, um, slowly getting like looser and looser with it as you go. And I have this one already done, so you can kind of see what it looks like at the end. And I um, secured this with a little bit of floral tape right at the, um, right there, just to, um, as like a way to connect these to this and back up just to give it a nice layer so it's secure because like i said these um, blooms if you don't do that will pop right off and it's very frustrating especially if you've worked like 40 minutes on a flower and then it's just a bloom and not even on a stem anymore 
<laughs> okay, so the next step will be to, oh, you know what, here's my paper. I'm gonna take back out our sheet and cut out the second strip. And just like we did before, we're gonna accordion fold that and so you don't have to watch me accordion fold it. Um, as you can see here, I have one already done and it's uh, nice and flush to that um, uh, template. And like I said before, the uh, template is um, just a suggestion. You don't have to cut it out or fold it just right, but the closer you get to that template when, you come to, when it comes to accordion folding it, the um, more petals you'll get. And that's really the only difference. Um, so I cut that again, and again, we're just doing the top part. And now I'm gonna cut a little notches in there. And that's so that they um, have a little bit more room to live and um, be where they wanna be. If you keep them really tight like that without cutting out the, those notches, um, it can be a little bit harder to work with. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it like that. And then we're going to nestle our thumb up in there. And then we're gonna just press down and give it a little bit of a rub, just like that. And just, you're gonna to have to like give these a couple of tries before you get like the 100% handle of it. And I actually, if you're having trouble with any of these folds, um, I have a slow TV uh, video up on my YouTube channel that also explains, um, it doesn't really explain, but you can kind of see my hands doing the motion. Um, and it's, it's helpful. I think that it's informative if you're having a, if you're stuck on a specific spot, um, you can, you can kind of zoom through that slow TV paper rose where, um, I don't have magical little curtain behind me with all the things already done like this one. <laughs> so this, oh, I actually taped this together cause I was doing some stylized photos with it, but don't tape them together. It's like not a thing. <laughs> That's just what happened with that one. Cause I was, um, cause it's awfully pretty like that. I think so. So I took some pictures. So now I'm going to like before we're going to separate those into, I like doing two and three and three. And actually in the kit, you'll find that, um, in the kit, you'll find that there's, the kit makes a dozen. So they'll, there's six of one size and six of another size. And it's like a very small difference, but it will produce one, like one flower will be slightly smaller than another flower. And that's just because, um, I wanted it to look more natural, so um, I included two different sizes. So now I'm just gonna wrap that around just like that. And you don't have to be too dear with it. You do want it to position it so that it's maybe just a little bit above your last, um, your last row of petals or that tight little center of the bud that you just made. And just like that. And so you don't have to watch me do all of it. The next section is exactly the same as the last one. I have some already done. So this is what it'll look like already done. And I have it secured with a little bit of floral tape. I'm just gonna give it another little um, layer of floral tape just to make sure everything stays on. Nice and secure. Awesome, set that aside for now, put the floral tape away and get out our paper again. So this is the first one that we're gonna actually completely fully cut out. So I'm just gonna cut that strip. And again, we're going to accordion fold it. Real close to that template. And these are 
printed on the front and the bottom. So like with any of these pedal strips, um, if you want to make sure like sometimes they can, when you accordion fold, they can drift up or down or anything like that. I like to just line up this with this and that makes a nice straight accordion fold so you don't get any of that drift. I guess I'll, I'll fold this whole one for you guys. And there's a little bit left over on the edge of that one so I'm just going to trim that off. Just like that. And now I'm going to cut that out. And like I said, this one gets cut out entirely. So the last two remain strips, but these are going to actually be individual petals. If you're wondering how I came up with this um, template, I tore apart a dozen roses. <laughs> and figured out what all of the uh, petal shapes were and then kind of reduced and reduced and reduced until I came out with this, which is like a really beautiful rose, but not like a million billion petals, like um, a real rose. <laughs> okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this petal and we're gonna um, cup it just like that. So you can kind of see like, just like that. Now we're gonna nestle our thumb into that petal, okay? And then there's a little tent that happens right there. And what we want to do is press down on that tent while simultaneously letting go of with this hand. And look at how perfect that is. Okay, this does take a little bit of getting used to. So definitely practice. You have lots of pedals that this kit makes. So don't worry if you um, rip a few petals before because if you don't let go simultaneously with this hand like that while you're pressing down on that tent the petal will rip um so just take some practice you'll get the hang of it i promise it's way less complicated than it seems and so you don't have to watch me making a million petals so now i have all of the petals um already folded for us so I am just going to add a little bit of glue right over here to the stem. We just want to right there at the stem. And then when you add it to your stem, so like I just put glue right there. And now I'm just going to add it to there. And I want the petal to come up. Um, so that it's a little bit higher than the bud that we just made. Um, so just like that. And I wanted to overlap. So I have this one already started and then I wanted to overlap a little bit just like that. So you keep on adding the petals just like that. And I have one already done. So you can kind of get a feel for what it looks like. Um, and that's see how all these and now um, at this point if you want to oh oops I forgot to put this on I'm sorry you guys I forgot to put on my microphone I hope that wasn't weird um, my camera actually ran out of battery so I'm not sure if that last cut um, ended up being smooth sailing or not but um, <laughs> Uh, okay, so now I'm just going to take a little bit of floral tape and this is totally optional at this point because we put the floral tape to secure it all on um, <clears throat> the last two um, strips. So for this next one, if you want to do this, you can if you don't want to do it. But since I haven't shown you how to do it um, with actual petals on there because it's a little bit trickier with petals on. Um, so I'm just stretching it and twisting it just like that, just like before, but it's a little bit harder because as it becomes bigger, it just gets a little harder to manage, but it's definitely doable. So just like that. I just wanted to show you guys that. Like I said, on these outer petals, that's absolutely optional. Um, I like to do it just to have the security to know my bud definitely isn't gonna pop off. You do have to do it for those first two, but you don't have to do it all the time. And now, 
I am going to, oh, I guess so. So this is the next strip. And um, as you can see, there's a little bit of extra right there. And if you want to trim that off, um, you can. If you want to have a little half petal, that's cool too. But um, this is just the next strip on the, the sheet that I accordion folded, um, just like all the other ones. And now I'm going to cut that out right on the template. And like I said before, you definitely don't have to cut it right out on the template and your flowers will actually be a lot better if you don't cut it right out on the, exactly on the template. Use the template as um, like a suggestion. Um, definitely it's gonna be the right size and shape generally, but don't stress out about it. Crafting should be fun, not stressful. And now in, um, for this one, I'm just gonna roll that top up a little bit just like that. And now we're going to fold these. And we're going to fold them just like we did before. Um, but I'm going to show it to you um, just because it kind of, kind of well, might, might, maybe this one will sink in better than the last one. Maybe the last one sunk in just fine. Maybe the next one is going to be the one that does the trick. But I like to show each of the petals, um, even though the technique is the same. So like I said, we have this little, um, this tent that kind of gets created right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to push down on that tent and let go of this other hand, just like that. And I like to smooth that out a little bit. And you might be wondering what happened to that curl that we put in. Why would you put in that curl? And I'll show you once we get all of them. Um, once we get it on the stem, I'll show you that that curl is not gone forever. So I'm just gonna load up my brush, a little bit of white glue, and I just want that, you know, trunk of the petal to get a, a nice coating, not too much, not too little, um, just to kind of go to the log zone. And now I am going to position that just like that. And you can uh, make it, you know, a little bit lower if you want, a little bit higher. It's all about what you want. I definitely recommend experimenting. Um, I do it the way that I've found works the best, but um, that doesn't mean that it's necessarily the best way to do it. So definitely, if you have an idea to do something, um, give it a try, see what, what happens. And now, because we put that curl in, we can curl that down a little bit if we want to. So, and that's going to influence um, how big the bloom gets. Um, if you leave the curl up, and I like to have like a bunch of different variations. So, like some of the buds are really nice and tight still, and some of them are blooming up. And that's just um, kind of um, reminiscent of like what actually you know naturally happens in a, in a bloom. You know, not everything is the same, like I, like I say. So here's a bunch of them already folded. Um, you get a bunch in one stack, so um, let's put on one more, just so you can kind of see what the overlap should be like. And these are going to overlap, but they're not going to overlap quite as much as the first one. Um, so just kind of almost touching. And then if you want to fold that out, you can play around with it, see what you like. And now we're going to add, as we have them. So here's one already all, um, already all done and as you can see I just let these nice and tight so um, actually if you wanted to stop here you totally could um, and that could be interesting too you could put those extra large petals that I'm going to show you next um, on another one so one's extra big and this one's nice and tight and cute too and it, all together they all make a beautiful uh, bouquet um, so definitely go with your gut and see what you feel I think that crafting is definitely one of the safest areas to start listening to your gut because the worst thing that's going to happen is you um, come up with a craft project that no one sees but you still have fun making it 
Or the best thing that could happen is you come up with a crafting project that is so amazing that Pinterest melts down to behold your crafting superiority. So there's always that too. <laughs> I have yet to experience that particular pleasure, but um, you know, I think it's a, I think crafting is a really beautiful way to indulge in a little bit of self care um, and get something pretty cool out of it at the end. So this is the last one out of the um, petal sheet. And those are the largest ones. And we're just gonna cut those out. And I'm really not going on, on to, I'm really not uh, cutting out in the line on this one. <laughs> but that's okay, you know? Just do what your heart feels. Do what your hands feel. And now, on this one, um, this one actually ended up not making a full petal. So I'm just gonna go in and just kind of trim off those those sharp hard edges and that's gonna be just fine for um, another petal on there. So now we're just gonna roll these just like that and roll this one just like that. So we're going from both ends like that. So it makes kind of like a, like a, a spade shape. Almost. So it goes from a heart shape to a spade shape like that. And now, one more time. Oh, that's the little one. I want to show you how to do it with a really big one. So now, what we're going to do is, just like before, we're going to fold that, nestle your thumb in, and there's going to be a little um, tent that happens. You can kind of feel that little tent. And as you press down on that tent, let go of it with the other hand, just like before. But it is a kind of tricky move, so um, it definitely is worth showing it to you three times. <laughs> Four if you count those pleated petals. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue to the stem there, the stump of that petal. And we're gonna add it right to our stem. And there aren't very many of these petals. Um, you will get four and a half or five of these petals. So you really want to um, kind of distribute them pretty evenly and be careful because they can, um, you can accidentally not get full coverage. And here are the rest of some ones that I already made. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot a step. With these big petals, something that you definitely want to do. I didn't do it to that one. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I messed up, you guys. Ah. <laughs> so because this um, petal tends to, it's going to be on the outside and maybe these pleats aren't necessarily like the smoothest, coolest looking things. I just like to take a regular spoon and rub that outer petal and that's gonna make it nice and smooth. And actually you think, oh, but that still looks really wrinkled. Um, if you actually take a, if you actually look at it, you'll see, like if you look at like a real living rose, you'll see there's a little bit of wrinkling at the base of those petals too. So we're gonna add that, just like that. Awesome, and now we have some already all done and we are almost all the way, all the way done. But what we wanna do now is do this green part. So basically for the green part, you're gonna take one strip like this. You're gonna roll it like this, okay? And because it takes forever, and I don't wanna show it to you necessarily, and if you wanna see it, comment, and I'll make a video for it, and I'll add it in. But that, now we have it all cut out, and we're just gonna roll it, just like that. 
And depending on how much you roll it, it's gonna give it a different look, a little bit of different flavor, which is always nice. Variety is always nice with these. And now we're just gonna add those on. And you can add these on with um, floral tape or you can use glue. It's totally up to you. And it usually takes about three. So I did one with glue and now I'll show you how to do one with floral tape. And no matter what, you want it all secured with floral tape at the end. And one more just to fill in that little spot right there. Sorry, my camera is giving me a very stressful, I'm almost out of battery vibe, so I'm gonna pick up the pace a little. And I just want one more layer of floral tape on there, just like that. Perfect. And now as a final step, I have this stem paper. And this stem paper is really special. And even though the floral tape doesn't have almost any um, stick to it at all, this sandpaper does stick to it, oddly enough. So all you have to do is press it into that floral tape and it's going to stick real nicely. And then you would continue putting on that floral tape, but because I am worried that my camera will die almost before I get everything all done, I'm just gonna give this a quick coat of glue and let that dry for a few hours to overnight if you want to. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching me. You can um, follow me on YouTube, uh, on Instagram. I am Yakawanis, Y-A-K-A-W-O-N-I-S. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, leave that down in the comments and I'll check it and answer your questions. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.